Now when you first turn on the Ricochet Web Store, all of the parent categories you've added into the software are going to show by default across the top navigational bar. Now there's really only going to be room for about eight categories here, depending on how long the titles are of your categories. So if you have more than what the navigational bar can display, a more option will show up with all remaining parent categories. Now if you scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see there's a shop by category section, which will show your categories as well as category images. So the first thing you'll want to do when setting up your Ricochet web store is to add to or edit your current category list. Add in images to your product categories, then start adding in inventory. So if we go to preferences, then to product, we'll land on the category section. Here you can decide which categories you want to leave off your online store, reorganize your parent, child, or tier 3 categories, or add in new categories as well. You can see all of your parent categories available in the left hand column. You'll also see all products and all the children categories attached to that parent category. By clicking on a parent category, it'll highlight it to Navy, and this will allow you to either add a new child category underneath that parent category, edit the parent category by updating the name, adding an internal description or photo, as well as choosing to show it online or not, and the ability to drag and drop categories underneath the parent category of accessories, and that's something that we will review here shortly. Now, same thing will go for child category. If you click any child category, it will allow you to add in a tier 3 category or edit that child category. Also, one thing to keep in mind is the only categories you need to add photos to are your parent categories. Child and tier 3 photos will not appear on the website. Also, photos need to be 600 pixels by 600 pixels. And the best way to think of that is if you're taking photos for Instagram and you're using the square filter in your iPhone or maybe a photo app on Android specifically for Instagram photos, that would be the great way to take your category or product images. So let's say we want to go ahead and create a brand new category here. We're going to click out of all the fields, go ahead and click new parent category, add in a name, and the description field is only used internally within this screen if you need to make any notes about the category, but won't show up anywhere else. Next, we can add in a photo. This will be that 600 pixels by 600 pixels photo. And then choose to show it online and hit save. Now, if I highlight that category, I'll add in a child category. And here, I'll just go ahead and add in a name and choose to show it online. Now I'll go ahead and add in a tier 3 for that category and once again choosing to show it online. Now when I go back to our main website I see that there's some categories that could fall in as child categories and some I just don't want to sell on the site. So. What I'm going to do is start out by going to Sports and Outdoor. This is a category I don't need to sell on my online store. So I'm going to click Edit Sports and Outdoor, click the Show Online button to off, and click Save. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Back to Categories. I notice that I have a category for bath bombs and a category for jewelry. These can both technically be added in under Accessories. So I'm going to go ahead and click Accessories. Then I'm going to drag and drop jewelry into the Child Category field. Making sure that when I click and drag it, I'm seeing a little rectangle below the mouse rather than a stop sign. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for Bath Bombs. Now that I've reorganized my categories, I'm going to go back to my web store and click refresh to see what the changes look like. And now I can see that 
my categories are looking a lot more organized. Now at this point, you'd want to make sure that all of your parent categories have photos, so that way the shop by category section is filled out. Finally, you can click custom ordering. Now what this is going to allow you to do is reorganize your parent or child categories for the web store. But the thing to keep in mind is that it will reorganize them when adding in inventory as well. So if you wanted to make your furniture category section be first and or maybe underneath the furniture section you wanted sofas to be at the top or rugs to be second, you could do that within the system and it will change the way it looks in the online store, but it will also change it for how it's listed in the category dropdown within the software. Now, once you've done these changes, go ahead and click Save, and that will save your categories in the system. So now you can go ahead and start adding your inventory to your online store.